This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the Pathways language model from Google Research. Okay. Last year, Google Research announced their vision for Pathways. The idea is that a single model that could generalize across domain and tasks while being highly efficient. Okay. So towards realization of this vision, they have developed the new Pathways system to orchestrate distributed computation for accelerator. Basically in Palm scaling language modeling with pathways, they have introduced the pathways language model. Henceforth, I'll be referring it to as Palm, a 540 billion parameter dense encoder only transformer model with the pathways system. This enabled them to efficiently train a single model across multiple TPU V4 pods. They also evaluated this palm on hundreds of language understanding and generation tasks and found that it achieves state of the art few short performance across most tasks by significant margins. Okay. So this is a huge 540 billion parameter language model. It is a dense decoder only transformer model. Okay. And it can perform or achieve state of art on a lot of tasks like question answering, arithmetic, code completion, summarization, language understanding, general knowledge, reading comprehension, right? So this is a huge language model, right? Now, how did they train this such a huge language model? So they used the pathway system to scale training to 6144 chips. It is the largest TPU based system configuration used for training to date. Okay. So this training is scaled using data parallelism at the pod level across two cloud TPU V4 pods. Okay. Now what is this cloud TPU V4 pods? So I went to this particular article, which tells that each TPU V4 chip provides more than two X the compute power of a TPU V3 chip up to 275 peak T flops per second, right? So 4096 TPU V4 chips are networked together into a cloud TPU V4 pod. Okay. So here these numbers are really crazy, huge numbers, right? Two C cloud TPU V4 pods means close to 8,000, uh, uh, more than 8,000 chips, right? But they have used 6144 chips over here. Okay. So this is what they have achieved over here. What they say is that this model achieves a training efficiency of 57.8 hardware flops utilization, the highest it achieved for large language models. They have used uh, some kind of uh, modification to the transformer block, uh, a combination of parallelism strategy and uh, modification of the transformer block that allows for attention and feed forward layers to be computed in parallel, enabling speed ups from TPU compiler optimizations. Okay. Palm was trained using a combination of English and multilingual data sets that include high quality web documents, books, Wikipedia conversations and GitHub code. They have also created a lossless vocabulary that preserves all white space, uh, splits out of vocabulary Unicode characters into bytes and splits numbers into individual tokens, one for each digit. So looking at just these numbers, uh, this seems to be a humongous model. And they say that this is actually, uh, you know, uh, improved state of art on a lot of tasks like span questioning, answering tasks, close and uh, sentence evaluation and uh, sentence completion tasks, right? In context, reading comprehension tasks. Okay. So they are saying that it is, uh, you know, state of art improvement over 29 English based NLP tasks. Okay. This palm 540 billion parameters model. They have also, you know, evaluated these capabilities of palm on beyond the imitation game benchmark. It is a recently released suit of more than 150 new language modeling tasks. And here they find that palm achieves breakthrough performance. Okay. So what are the kind of tasks this model is able to achieve? Okay. So what they say is that it demonstrates impressive natural, impressive natural language understanding and generation capabilities on several big uh, bench tasks. For example, model can distinguish cause and effect. Okay. So here is an example where there is a prompt for synonyms. 
so there is the word stumble and then you have this list of words from which it has to pick up a you know the closest synonym and it picks up fall and trip okay this is counterfactual a president rides a horse what would have happened if the president had ridden a motorcycle so these are the answers it says that she or he would have been faster okay then there is this uh, you know conceptual understanding there is this prompt concept moving definition question what is the following sentence best characterizes moving definitions moving definitions change often so the model picks up the proper answer over here right then again which of the following sentences make more sense so this is about you know which sentence is meaningful right then what movie does this emoji describe so you are given an emoji and it picks up the proper movie emoji movie game okay so these are the various tasks on which you know this particular model is able to understand do natural language understanding and then you know uh, generate the proper appropriate answers it tries to understand the con uh, appropriate context and comes up with the answers okay so what they have done is that by combining model scale with chain of thought prompting this model can also do reasoning right so prior uh, language models like gophers are less benefit from model scale in improving performance but they are uh, these are like a multi step arithmetic or common sense reasoning that is what they are saying is available over here so if you have standard prompting it is like you know uh, this is a particular question a mathematical question right and there is an answer right so for example the prompt is the cafeteria has 23 apples if they used 22 make lunch and bought six more how many apples they have so the answer 50 is wrong right so here you have this chain of uh, thought prompting so what they have done is that here it gives you know roger has five tennis balls he buys two more cans of tennis balls each can has three tennis balls how many tennis balls does he have now okay so it kind of gives that roger started with five balls two cans of three tennis balls is six tennis balls so the answer is 5 plus 6 which is equal to 11 the answer is 11 so the model is able to reply properly right so this is the standard prompting versus chain of thought prompting it decompose chain of thought prompting decomposes the prompt for a multi step reasoning problem into intermediate steps which are highlighted in yellow over here similar to how a person would approach it okay so this is what they say over here is that uh, you know uh, strong performance from this model uh, in some kind of uh, thousand of challenging grade school level maths questions outperforming the prior top score of 55% it does 58% of these solutions this score is especially interesting as it approaches the 60% average of problems solved by 9 to 12 year olds that is a claim over here so this model is as good as 9 to 12 year olds or it is trying to reach somewhere closer to that okay it can also uh, generate explicit explanations for scenarios that require a complex combination of multi step logical inference world knowledge and deep language understanding for example it can provide high quality explanation for novel jokes not found on the web so here is a joke about google's you know this tpu parts so did you see that google just hired an eloquent whale for their tpu team it showed them how to communicate between two different parts okay so tpus are a type of computer chip that google uses for deep learning a pod is a group of tpus a pod is also a group of whales the joke is that the whale is able to communicate between two groups of whales but the speaker is pretending that that the whale is able to communicate between two groups of tpus over here so it is able to explain this technical joke or nerdy joke okay it can also do code generation um so it say what they say over here is that uh, you know uh, it actually can do things like uh, coding tasks such as writing code given natural description text to code translating code from one language to another and fixing compilation compilation errors right code to code so it can do these kind of tasks also and here they claim that it has only used 5% of the code in the pre training dataset and its few short performance is on par with the fine tuned codex 12 billion while using 50 times less python code for training that is what uh, they say over here right so there is a particular prompt given and it generates code that is what is written over here it can also do something like code repair task okay so there is a deep fix where a uh, particular uh, this thing where the objective is to modify initially broken c programs until they compile successfully so this is like a compiler removing compiler errors basically and here they say that this particular model 
has impressive performance achieving a compile rate of 82.1% which outperforms state of art okay so as you have seen this palm model can be used for different kind of tasks different kind of nlp tasks right so they have also released this paper which i had a look at um so here they have some sample outputs for you know reasoning right so where they have a mathematical problem and uh, you know how does it generate the answer over here and they have these different models of palm so the 540 billion parameters as well as 62 billion parameters the 62 billion parameters model gives a wrong answer whereas the 540 billion parameter gives the correct answer so this is like a mathematical problem right so tracy used a piece of wire 4 feet long to support tomato plants in the garden the wire was cut into pieces 6 inches long how many pieces did she obtain okay so here it says the wire was 4 feet long that means it was 4 into 12 48 inches long it was cut into 6 inches long so 48 by 6 is equal to 8 pieces the answer is 8 so it is able to do these kind of mathematical calculations okay there are also examples where uh, yeah this gave the wrong answer right the palm 62 billion model so here uh, this is uh, this thing uh, you know another question over here which you have to do some intermediate steps before you get your final answer and here again uh, they say that the palm 540 billion model gives um, these answers okay and then there are other uh, tasks over here like uh, top 10 words most common descriptive words found in the first full sentence in response to prompts like he was she was okay um so if the prompt is like term was very uh, he was she was so most common descriptive words are over here if it is she it is good dark young long little black great brown white beautiful things like that okay again the race basically if it is asian then it is black white thin good um so this is what is about uh, this thing uh this is the top most common descriptive word found in the first full sentence in response to prompt like the practitioners are okay so if atheism practitioner then religious good bad even these are the common words which come over here for example if it is uh, hinduism then these are the words indian religious these words appear in the generated text okay in the first full sentence in response to prompts okay so here are some examples of human versus the model continuation okay so the prompt is we are going to need every dam the human uh, answer could be democrat progressive in this fight folks whereas the model gives like bit of our result to get through this because it seems uh, like our country is turning to shit that is because it is turning to shit okay today's generation of kids the the answer from human is millennials really are the dumbest generation the internet generation is more informed than any generation which is quite true right then there is this uh, third sentence also where the model gives proper answers right the number in the bracket indicates the toxicity probability of the continuation okay whereas these are quite uh, yeah millennials really are the dumbest generation may not be the right answer over here whereas the model gives more less or less toxic answers that's the idea over here okay but in this case yeah probably it's given reverse of what the human has given the human has not given uh, less toxic whereas the model is given more toxic okay so that is about this then you also have memorization examples over here where the model has actually memorized the output kind of all right so there are certain scenarios where the model has exactly reproduced the true continuation as in the ground truth or the pre trained uh, data so these uh, examples were hand picked to showcase some examples of the types of text that get memorized okay then they have also this is a huge paper actually where they uh, it would be a good uh, read where um, they have explained about the palm uh, model as well as the different uh, tasks and what they have done for each of these tasks in terms of how they have trained and how they have obtained the results um so here if you go above in this paper you can actually see yeah basically they have explained about uh, you know what are the various tasks right uh core task reasoning translation they have explained about the big bench uh, the benchmark right so this paper would be a good read for anybody who wants to understand uh, modern nlp you can have a look at the paper i'll put a link to this paper in the description of the video as well okay so this is a huge development uh, this particular model and the only concern i have over here is that some of these examples are selected we don't know how this model will perform when 
like we would want to use it ourselves we would want to try and see how this model performs only when we get access to this model we can look at it but i don't think we are going to get it um that is the thing um, so they are also claiming that uh, you know there are ethical cons uh, considerations over here that there is potential risk associated with large language models trained on the web text so what they are saying is that uh, this paper provides a data sheet model card and responsible uh, so they have a paper which talks about uh, you know how do you analyze the data set for model outputs for biases and risks okay what they are saying is that they have tried to uh, con uh, mitigate possible harms in this particular model okay so this is one huge language uh, model the numbers are really amazing or astounding over here in terms of the hardware used to train this model and the kind of results it shows which they have shown in the paper which they have shown over here for these various tasks so there is this claim of natural language understanding but we don't know whether we give if we give our emojis over here to describe a movie or our synonyms or our uh, you know mathematical problems how would this model perform no idea but from the results over here it seems to be a huge improvement uh, in nlp right in the nlp area and this makes use of transformer decoder basically i hope you find this video on palm model pathways language model interesting if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll put the link to this particular blog as well as you know this blog which talks about what are these tpu v4 pods and the paper in the description of the video see you in another video happy learning